Hello friends, today I'm going to show you how to identify red osier dogwood cornicericea. Now when I filmed this video we didn't have leaves yet, so the tips that I'm going to give you today are going to be especially helpful in the winter, but a lot of these tips are going to be super applicable year-round if you want to up your botany game. And as always, I'm going to tell you how this relates to closely related species, in this case plants in the genus Cornus. So right away, this common name, red osier dogwood, already gives us two hints for what we can look for. And that first and most obvious hint is red. Oh my goodness, these are so red. The winter stems are absolutely beautiful and they really, really stand out on the landscape. Chokecherry and sandbar wellow are red-ish, but if you're out on a walk in the winter and you're questioning the redness of a shrub, it's probably not going to be a red osier dogwood because this is really striking. And what about that second part of the common name, osier? Osier is actually a really, really old name for willows. You might see the same species listed as Cornus stolonifera in some field guides. And that's because this species can spread underground by a root system called stolons. That's what gives red osier dogwood this kind of like thickety shape. And this propagation by stolons is actually something that's shared by a couple of willow species too. So actually on the other side of this canal, there's a lot of sandbar willow. And sandbar willow also propagates by stolons, so it has kind of the same overall shape, but not as red. And both willows and red osier dogwood live in pretty moist areas, so you can see this one is right by the side of a canal. But I'm going to give you a really easy way to immediately rule out willows. And all that is is dogwoods across the genus Cornus all have opposite leaves. Well, except for Arterna folia. At any rate, if you see opposite leaves, boom, it's not a willow. Now, while we're here, I can point out a couple other things that stand out to me. The first is that sometimes you'll have leftover fruits that are left on the shrub. Red osier dogwood has white berries that come out in the summer. And here's what they look like if they stay on the twig for like five months. Another thing that stands out to me are these small but noticeable white pores, and the botanical name for these is lenticels. I think these just stand out to me because the bark is so red, so it's a really strong contrast. Now, I'm going to look for a twig to take, and as always, we're looking for a twig with a lot of lateral buds. We don't want a twig with just a couple of short stems and then some terminal buds. Now, I'm going to show you those lateral buds in a second, but I also want to show you the cross-section of the twig that I chose. Because, again, we have some cool contrast here. The pith on red osier dogwood is bright white, while a lot of other dogwood species have kind of brownish pithes. All right, I only have two more things that I want to show you. But first, I think it's just a little easier to see the leaf arrangement here. So you can see the leaves are directly across from one another, and these are going to turn into opposite leaves later in the season. A quick point that I think is a little interesting because it relates to the scientific name is that if we look closely at the twig, we can see that there are all these fine, soft hairs. And that's actually what Saracea is referring to. So if you come across other species named Saracea, it's a pretty good bet that they're going to have these downy, silky hairs too. And the last thing is actually a feature you can use to identify anything in the genus Cornus, and it's about the bud scales on the lateral and terminal buds. These buds only have two non-overlapping scales, which is a little noteworthy because most plants have more than that. I think they're a little easier to see on the terminal bud, but you can also look for this kind of seam dividing them on the lateral buds. And the name for having two non-overlapping bud scales is valvate. A mnemonic that helps me remember this is the bud scales kind of clamshell together, so they almost look like a bivalve, so they're valvate. I Maybe this will help. The main thing to remember is that Cornus has two bud scales. And if you want to remember the term, it's valvate. All right, just to sum up, to identify red osier dogwood in the winter, first, you can ID to the genus Cornus. For that, you almost always want to look for opposite lateral buds, and you always want to look for buds with two scales. From there, to get to Cornus sericea, red osier dogwood, first, look for bright red stems. And those stems are also going to have white lenticels and fine downy hair. You can also check for desiccated white fruit. And if you take a twig, the pith is going to be bright white. These guys are especially common in moist sites, but they're pretty tolerant, so don't rule them out if you're in the plains either. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know what features stand out the most to you. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.